double check, uh, a double verification, and then we can modify that format for external reporting purposes. All right, let me show you what I mean. We're gonna go to the first tab. Let's go to the bank rule side of things and accounting drop down back into the bank accounts. And let's go into the checking account to check it out. I'm gonna go into the reconcile on the reconcile and let's go down to those items that we that I've added a couple items down here. So I just added these market daily market items. So let's say we need to we need to break these out by location. Uh, let's do it. We're gonna do it like uh, 60 40. So I'm gonna hit the drop down. Let's make a rule for it. Create a rule and it's gonna be a creative rule. A created we're gonna create a creative rule. So at least a little bit more creative. It's gonna be any conditions met. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna hit the drop down. We wanna say uh, any text, this part is the same as our other rules. If it has daily market in it, you want, you want that. I'm gonna make a new vendor just like we normally would for that, all right? And then down here, and we have our, our percentage breakout. Now note, you could break out by dollar amount up top, uh, which might be useful. So like, uh, this could be useful, for example, if if you, you wanna make uh, a breakout that's gonna be a fixed dollar amount to a particular account and possibly the rest of it goes to another account over a certain threshold or something like that. But I think oftentimes it's more likely that you can have the percent breakout down here and you can say, this is the expense that I'm breaking out, you know, 60, 40 by location. So I can, I can do that nicely down here and say, this is gonna be the test expense, test expense location one. And I'm also added the location field. This will only be here if we added those location tracking. And I'm gonna say, this is 60, whoop. I'm gonna say, hold on a sec, location one. And then the percent is 60 and then location, and then I'll add a new here. And then we want a uh, uh, location test expense location two, and this will be going to location two. And this of course will be the 40 and that should add up to 100%. So we've, we've done double duty here, meaning we're breaking it out both by two separate accounts and by two separate locations, which will break it out by column. That'll give us a double check verification, and then we can modify our reports if we wanna do that. Although you don't need to do both, you might just use the location tracking, which would break out by column. So I'll show you that in a second. So we'll say, uh, let's hit the drop down. I'll say the reference. I'm gonna say this applies to all accounts and save it. All right, let's go ahead and add these in. So I'll go through and say, let's say this one looks good. Let's, the rule has been applied and MUI B to the end. So, so here's all the rules been applied to all of these items. All right, so I'll just add those in. Very nice, MUI B in. All right, so then I'm gonna go to the balance sheet and update. These of course would decrease the checking account, but the more interesting uh, component we're going to be looking at is the income statement. So here's our income statement. Now, if you just turned on the class tracking or the, the, the tracking categories, then you're going to want to refresh the screen with this button or possibly simply open up another income statement. And you should be able to see then a new field up top with your filtering field. So now we can go into our filtering field. I can update the report, filter the fields, and I, and I often would select all of these. I'm gonna select all of them and say, okay, update. And okay, there it goes. So now we have it here. So now I've got location one, location two, and unassigned. So if I scroll down uh, to these items, there they are. There's location one, location two. So we've done, this is what I mean by the double duty, the double verification. We put everything in location one and track them both by the account location one and by the category of location one in a separate column. Everything in location two is tracked by account and by category and nothing has been unassigned. And that's why I would always have 
everything assigned to every transaction if I can for most purposes of using this so that if anything is unassigned, you can drill down on whatever is unassigned and properly assign it out. Also, if I had something safe in here, that wouldn't make any sense because now it's in location one by account, but location two up top. So it looks like there'd be an error in data input, which I can easily see with this kind of double check factor and I can properly put it into the proper account. So you don't really need to do that double verification. It would probably be the easiest to remove the two accounts if you don't want to do that and just break out by uh, the locations up top. That's another format you can do. That's probably better than breaking out by these two locations because it's often useful to see everything by column so you can see the subtotals if you're breaking everything out by location. Now I can also add subcategories to these locations by going to the edit layout tab down here and grouping them this is and notice up top the structure that zero has put in place you can you can adjust the structure by adding and deleting columns if you so choose so i'm going to go down and say i could select this one hold down control and select this one make a group i'm going to group them and then i'm going to call that group just call it test x expenses and so tab out of that and so now it put it into a group i can i can collapse the group but let's first see it in a grouped format so i can update this and now my report has more detail in it this would be similar to to subcategories in like a quickbooks online but it actually gives you a lot more flexibility really so now it breaks out here so now i can still see it by location in both ways and it gives me my totals and you know the total over here for both of them in the total column now this might be good for internal purposes for me to double check those and then i can collapse this category for external reporting so i can just break it out by the locations up top by going to the edit tab and then i can say let's go ahead and collapse this and then update and so now for external reporting i just have those two broken out up top and uh and now i can see the uh the test that's the income side i'm down here the test expense in one one line item broken out by the two locations so pretty pretty neat the bank rules now the bank rule will apply going forward and you can kind of automate everything in that format with a little bit more complexity and the bank rules adding in multiple accounts and your tracking options by column note that you can also track that location tracking on the balance sheet but the balance sheet gets a little bit more tricky and the default is to filter each column so i can filter like just location one and you can filter each column but usually people are thinking of the income statement when they use this tool also note that you might be able to adjust a column by column breakout using the this layout tool adding another column but i don't want to get too far into that right now because that's not really our point of focus most of the time when you're using this this kind of uh, uh tool you're, you're generally focused on the breaking the income statement out uh performance statement by column such as location or department or whatever